Oh yeah, mimi nikushukuru sana sana kwa kuwa karibu na Special for You TV. Kunifuatilia, kuendelea kunifuatilia. Ni furaha yangu kwa sababu mimi nakufunza na kuelimisha na kuonya pia. Au sio? So, kitu kikubwa ninachozungumzia hapa ni kuhusiana na daktari ambaye amekamatwa baada ya kuwapandikiza watu kansa. Yaani unajua unaweza usiwapandikize ile kansa kabisa, lakini pia msongo wa mawazo usioisha hiyo ni kansa mbaya ambayo inaweza kukuletea mauti anytime. Daktari huyo amekuwa akiwaambia watu mbalimbali wakiwa na kansa kwamba wana kansa. Amewaambia watu wengi sana wenye kansa na akawa nawapa chemotherapy. Nadhani wengi mnafahamu kuhusiana na chemotherapy. Kwa wale msiojua kwa haraka haraka cha niwaambie chemotherapy ni matibabu ya dawa ambayo hutumia kemikali zenye nguvu kuwa seli zinazokuwa haraka katika mwili wako tiba ya chemotherapy mara nyingi hutumiwa kutibu saratani kwa sababu seli za saratani hukua na kuongezeka kwa haraka zaidi kuliko seli nyingine za mwili kwa zile seli zako nyekundu nyeupe ambazo zinakuwa kwa mwili wako hasa seli nyeupe ambazo zinapambana na magonjwa zinakuwa zinakuwa taratibu tu unajua haziwezi kuwa kwa haraka zitakuvusababishia magonjwa mengine ambayo hayafai kwa zinakuwa pole pole bila hizi za kansa hukua haraka sana sana sasa yeye alikuwa na wapa watu hiyo chemotherapy na unajua ukishaambiwa wewe una kansa basi unaanza kutetemeka tusikilize hapa nini kimecho happen na paka hiyo yote ikatokea tusikilize we begin with that breaking headline today a michigan doctor sentenced being called a monster a day of reckoning for the doctor who diagnosed hundreds of patients with cancer wow. when they did not have it outside the court the tears and anger he lied to so many patients giving many of them extensive chemotherapy which then made them sick so many of those families today coming face to face with the doctor as he was sentenced to 45 years behind bars and you're about to hear what the doctor said to those families Judgment day for the doctor who caused so much pain. Victims of Dr. Farid Fata outside the courtroom where he was sentenced, hand in hand, then defiant. 45 years for the lives that he took. It just wasn't enough. In court, the 50-year-old doctor breaking down, saying, I misused my talents, yes, and permitted this sin to enter me because of power and greed. But those words, no comfort for Cheryl Blades. I could hear him talking to my mother because I went to every appointment so I could hear him talking to her and promising her to save her. You know, Fata pleaded guilty to intentionally misdiagnosing more than 550 patients, often prescribing treatment for cancer that they did not have. He earned more than 17 million dollars as a result. Dr. Fata pounced on every opportunity to use a patient's body as a prophet. One of the patients, 53-year-old Monica Flagg. Stressful. It was... Extremely yeah. emotional. In 2013, Dr. Fata told her she had cancer. He finally said, it is no longer smol smoldering. You have full-blown cancer. Well, she later learned from another doctor she was down. perfectly healthy. I did one chemo treatment. The others did so many that they're practically dead anyway. This is just awful. And the question so many had, mm -hmm. wasn't there anyone else in the doctor's office looking at those charts, those tests to know these people were healthy? Well, David, mm -hmm. eventually another doctor in the same clinic as Dr. Fata and an office worker, a staff member, did have their suspicions and took them to federal law enforcement officials. They were the whistleblowers. Right. And in the meantime, a second opinion you told me saved some people from the same fate. Right. Some of those people who were diagnosed with cancer went to other doctors. Of course, that diagnosis was not confirmed. They did not go back to Dr. Fata. They're right. the lucky ones. Always get a second opinion. All right, Ron, thanks so much. Ni atari. Unajua ndo maana unakwambia unapokwenda ukasikia kwamba umeambiwa una ugonjwa fulani. Nenda hospitali nyingine na nyingine na sio moja. Ni atari. Unajua ndo maana unakwambia unapokwenda ukasikia kwamba umeambiwa una ugonjwa fulani. Nenda hospitali nyingine na nyingine na sio moja tu. Nenda hata mbili tatu kama nne hivi maki mbili zinaweza zikakosea enda enda hakikisha hauna ule ugonjwa ama unao ule ugonjwa 
kwa sababu huyo dokta watu wengi wamekufa kwa kuto kufikiria mara mbili kwenda kusikiliza mtu mwingine maoni ya mtu mwingine daktari mtu mwingine walivomsikiliza yeye wakamwamini yeye akaanza kuwapatiba maana hapo anakuconvince kwamba nitakutibu nitahakikisha unapona paka unarudi nomo hasa ushaambiwa umefikia stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 ile ni hatari sana Mungu wangu Jamani tujiangalie hao wazungwa kama wanamaliza na wenyewe kwa wenyewe huko CCJ inakuwaje. Nikwambie tu uh, treatments za kansa huwa zina watu watatu. Unaweza kutumia njia tofauti kama tatu hivi ambao ni surgery ambao ni uh, tunaita surgery kama upasuaji nini vitu kama hivyo. Alafu kuna chemotherapy ndo kama hiyo dokta huyo alikuwa anatumia hiyo na naamini hata hiyo surgery alikuwa anatumia eh, kutolewa labda hiyo uh, unasikia ya uboho sijui nini vitu kama hizo hapo alafu kuna hiyo radiation therapy ambayo ndio ile kuchomwa unasikia mtu anatakiwa akachomwe mionzi kwa kifupi unaenda kuchomwa ile kansa inaenda kuchomwa ili kukaukisha zile cells za kansa na ushajua hapo mwanzo nimekuelezea kwamba kansa uh, cells zake ama vimelea vyake hukua kwa haraka sana kuliko seli zako za mwili. Sasa ukidanganywa na hiyo kidogo ukasikia mwisho wako matumaini ya kuishi unaanza kupoteza kupoteza mwisho unakufa. Kwa hiyo tujiangalie sana. Hata kuna wengine wanaambiwa na ugonjwa fulani kumbe hauna. Unatumia yale madawa makali yamekuandikia na yale madawa yanaenda kukupa magonjwa ambayo yasiyofaa na unapoteza maisha. Mimi naitwa Jack Special kutoka Special for you to be be simple, be social. Amen.